The Forum on China is the first of its kind in Nigeria and is one China hopes will continue as relations with Nigeria progresses. It is attended by members of the diplomatic corps, the Chinese delegation, led by the Chinese consul general, international relations scholars, and the media. Private Chinese companies supervising the execution of different infrastructure projects in the country give situation reports on projects past and present, showing Chinese goodwill to Nigeria. The Consul General Yan Yujin says both countries are one step closer to a better world. China stands ready to strengthen multilateral co coordination with African countries and the AU to safeguard the common interests of developing countries. China and Nigeria are strategic partners and the engagement between the two countries is a vivid example of the promotion of eco and the orderly multipolarity of the world. Director General of the Nigeria Institute of International Affairs, Professor Hossa Osagi, while commending areas of cooperation, said it's time Chinese services are domesticated in Nigeria. China must help Nigeria to become a manufacturing economy a productive economy. Because one of the cardinal points about Chinese emergence as a big power was transfer of technology as a platform you know, for all that China had in terms of its transformation. And so China must transfer technology to Nigeria. China must domesticate technology in Nigeria. And China must help you know, in that regard. His words are reiterated by the acting director of research and studies at the NIIA, Dr. Ifem Ubi, who says re-strategizing foreign policy with China will build stronger cooperation and fast-track Nigeria's economic development. There are some newer theories that people don't even talk about, which has also undermined, you know, international or interstate relations in the international system. Theories like the constructivist theories. You know, you construct what you want to see, and the propaganda you see that is coming is because the, the West or other countries or whoever feels, who, the people like us Sinophobes, people like us Sinoskeptics, will construct a vision of the kind of China you want to see, a vision of the kind of Africa they want to see, a vision of the kind of relationship between China, Africa, and all that. And so, although these are valuable initiatives, like I said, ambitious ones too, Without being pessimistic, our community of shared future can only be achieved through sincerity and commitment. A book launch and some more discussions on varying aspects of relations, and the program comes to an end, with the hope that leaders will work towards real change for economic development. Amarachi Ubani, Channel Television News.